This is what we consider to be the speed of light today, denoted by C. We also consider that matter, energy, and information can never travel faster than it. But here's something interesting. If we could travel faster than light, we could also travel back in time. This is because of special relativity, which you may have heard before. Special relativity is a physical theory originally proposed by Albert Einstein. It's based on two statements. One, the laws of physics are always the same for all non-accelerating frames of reference or for all different perspectives at rest or moving at a constant speed. Two, the speed of light in a vacuum is always the same for all observers. An effect of this theory is time dilation. Basically, time passes slower and slower the faster you travel or the closer you get to the speed of light. A good example of related to special relativity is a famous thought experiment known as the Twin Paradox. Imagine two identical twins. Alex travels in space at a very high speed, while Ben remains on Earth. When Alex returns to Earth, he finds that he is younger than Ben. Why does this happen? From Ben's perspective, Alex is moving faster than him, and should indeed be younger at the end. But from Alex's perspective, Ben is moving faster, so Alex should be younger at the end. The reason is because when Ben turns around to return to Earth, there is a change in his speed and direction. As we see in this graph, in that moment, there is no increase in time for Alex, although there is for Ben. Since time can be relative from different perspectives, two events may happen at the same time, or one may happen before or after the other. This is known as relativity of simultaneity and is yet another consequence of special relativity. Look at this graph. The outgoing light rays from the event at the origin, event A, form a surface in time space called the event's future light cone. The light rays converging on A form a surface called A's past light cone. The events found in these cones can be influenced and can influence A respectively. The events outside of these cones can neither influence nor be influenced by A without faster than light travel or communication. When the perspective of the graph changes, the entire coordinate plane is shifted. This is called a Lorentz transformation, which is represented by the differently colored axes. According to the green perspective, A and B occur at the same time. According to the blue perspective, B occurs before A, and according to the red perspective, A occurs before B. Consider a system with four people. Alice and Bob, who are at rest relative to each other, and Carol and Dave, who are moving towards them at high speeds. Let's say Alice transmits a signal to Bob from event P to event Q, outside of the light cone, faster than the speed of light. When Carol meets Bob at Q, she transmits the signal to Dave. The problem here is that, as can be seen, Dave will receive the signal from Carol before it is even transmitted by Alice. The signal has therefore traveled back in time. You can think of the speed of light as a kind of barrier to the passage of time. When approaching the speed of light, time is positive. When traveling as a photon, a particle of light, at the speed of light, time is frozen. And when traveling faster, time becomes negative. Of course, this would cause issues with the principle of cause and effect and many paradoxes. If someone went back in time and killed their grandfather, what would happen? There are solutions to this, such as models where a new universe is created whenever such an action would take place. However, all of this is hypothetical, and in the end, scientists have found it impossible to accelerate particles to the speed of light alone. At first, the speed of light may seem to be an arbitrary number, but in reality, it is a key to many secrets of our universe.